Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to get our overlays and our textures into Photoshop. Now I often get asked the question, why are my overlays and my textures not loading into my Actions panel? Well guys, they're not Actions, so you can't load them into your Actions panel. But they're really easy to use, and they're super easy to get into Photoshop, and I will walk you right through it. Once you make your purchase, you will receive an email from us with the downloadable links, and they all come in zip files. You must open these in order to use your products. To open them, it's real easy. All you have to do is double click, and they will open. I already have one of these on my computer, so I just opened the second one. If you are on a PC and that doesn't do the trick, just hit the right, um, right click on it and hit the extract all, and that should do the trick. So, as you can see, now I have all these beautiful overlays, and this is the ultimate light pack, by the way. And if you are on a Mac, all you have to do is drag and drop, and voila, it is on top of your image already. If that doesn't work out for you, or you don't like the drag and drop, or you are on a PC and you don't have this option, I'm not sure if you do or if you don't, all you have to do is go into the file and open and type in what you want. I'm going to type in Storyville Sun. And I'm just going to drag and drop Storyville Sun number two. Oh, <laughs> there I am, drag and dropping, opening it up. And from there, all you have to do is hit Command A to select it, Command C to copy it, and Command V to paste it on top of your image. For the light overlay in the flare pack, I always, always, always use the blending mode screen, and that will take away the back, um, the black background. From there, hit the Command T option, and that is the free transform, and you can move it to wherever you would like. And you can also resize it just by pulling on those little boxes. Once you get it to where you like it, hit the check mark. And as you can see, there is a distinct line running through my image of where the light overlay ends. I don't want that. So you can either add a layer mask and use a soft black brush at 100% opacity to mask that, or mask that right off. Or you can go into filter, your blur gallery, Gaussian blur, and about at 40%, you notice the line is gone and hit OK. Same thing for textures, guys. You can drag or drop or go to File, Open. I'm going to type in like Urban Textures and open up my Urban Textures and then just grab one, hit Open, and then the same thing, Command A to select it, Command C to copy it, and then Command V to paste it. Now with the other textures, you don't have to do the screen mode. Um, I like to play around with them. I often go to the soft light blending mode, and then I'll hit Command T to move it. And make sure that there, your line is kind of outside your image so you don't have any of those other distinct lines running through. And then you can hit the check or just click on that and then you can leave it as is. You are able to play with opacity, just like on the light overlay. Um, and you can also add layer mask and mask off where you don't want um, it on your image. So you can use a soft black brush at 100% opacity, 50% opacity if you want to leave it on a little bit. It's totally your call. And then just mm, brush off where you don't want it. And that's it, guys. You can find these um, textures and overlays at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.